Hi friends, welcome to Chillmark YouTube channel. My name is Elena Yakovleva and today I'm going to be talking about five biggest takeaways from UGM 2022. Before we jump into things, make sure to like this video, hit a notification bell and subscribe to our channel. This way you can stay up to date with all of our latest research. So before we jump into five takeaways, I would like to share my impressions as I'm being a newcomer. It's my first UGM and um, I'm probably the most impressed because I was able to learn just in three days more than I was able to learn about Epic from being an active user for six years. Wisconsin was just beautiful in August. Everything was super smooth from registration to transportation and logistics. I was super impressed with Epic Campus in Verona, Wisconsin. It almost feels like you're in a fairy tale, you know, it's somewhere you would go for vacation. I could definitely experience a very unique Epic culture at the campus. Uh, buildings were just unique from Chocolate Factory to Alice in Wonderland uh, building and little farms, animals on the campus, amazing food and drinks. All this gets into your heart and from the first day you just fall in love with Epic. My biggest impression from UGM is Judith Faulkner's speech. It was not just inspiring, it almost felt like uh, a new role model was discovered for me. So much confidence, such a nice way of delivering the information and definitely a very inspiring figure in terms of contributing to the bigger and broader good for all human beings. Even before I got to the forum, uh, people were talking. They were talking on the plane, they were talking on the bus, uh, they were talking everywhere. It seems like everybody brought their own agenda. They were asking questions, they were exchanging experiences and so on. And I think that UGM is probably the only place you can get this experience from. So for me, it definitely was just a gold mine of information. And especially I was hunting for info for my new research project on Hospital at Home that's going to be coming out soon. So subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, we always have some media information out there and you will always be notified whenever we have new content released. To all of you who are still looking for the UGM content, please be on the lookout. They should be releasing their content in a month or so. At UGM, there were a few big announcements made. Epic seems to be moving very quickly and actually have very ambitious plans. So now let's dive into Epic's kitchen and see what's on their menu. My chart is still overly focused on patient experience, but they're adding new features so providers can get a tiny bit of their experience <laughs> improved as well. So they're adding the self-developed page in my chart for patients to pre-fill their medical information. Also, now my chart allows for an easy second opinion option for custom feed home care plans, which is super cool. And also now you can direct your patient through the hospital easier with an inbuilt navigator. Probably the best feature of all was the builder with a very easy code that allows you to add more features to my chart to allow your patients to have even better experience. To be honest with you, did I expect more? I kind of did. But at the same time, if all the features goes live and users can take full advantage of them, I can definitely see that the results can be just fantastic. My first session was actually in hospital at home and it was jam packed. There was no place for an apple to fall. And I definitely can see that hospital at home getting more and more attention. CMS uh, has given a number of waivers as of now, and more and more folks, they just start their pilots. You know, some of them, they would have like one to five patients in their programs. And also we have those mastodons of the industry, Mayo Clinic, Cleveland, and others. 
they are long-term players, they know what they're doing, but even they do have questions for Epic. So overall, Epic does move ahead with RPM and hospital at home and telehealth. But do I want to see more? I really do want to see more and providers do want to see more either to support billing and logistics uh, in all this ahead of time planning. They definitely need more tools. I'm not quite sure what the execution of the current Epic's plan in this particular area is going to be, but it better be fantastic. Few big areas where the technology is needed the most is billing, logistics support, workflow support, and an actual staffing issue. Now let's talk about RPM. This year, Epic was supposed to announce a big partnership with an RPM vendor. There are no news yet. So they are hoping to release this information by the end of 2022. In my opinion, I have no doubt it's going to be a big corporate vendor with um, a pretty wide selection of RPM tools. A general issue for both RPM and telehealth remains the connectivity. There are a number of companies trying to solve this issue, but we do have it still in 2022. So I am definitely hopeful that moving ahead, we're going to see all the areas in the United States of America covered. Epic does have uh, telehealth anywhere right now, powered by Spectrum Health. Uh, but connectivity issue is still there. <laughs> so I'm truly hoping to see that being resolved moving forward. Telehealth is a crucial component for so many newly evolving care programs that it's almost a shame to still have connectivity issues in 2022. The most impressive things that were introduced on revenue cycle management was a feature to drop a single bill. Not only it will reduce the amount of rework, but it also will increase the reimbursements. Although there is no defined implementation date yet. Along with single bill drop, also Epic uh, plans to further develop the automation of the billing process. So from automated uh, appeals and authorizations, also, they're planning to do the post-billing coverage changes. Few announcements came from patient self-service. In the nearest future, patients will be able to sign up for an auto-pay for their visits. They would be able to set up a payment plan and also, just mind-blowing, to consolidate all the health bills across the system and pay all at once. So the last takeaway I would like to talk about today is personalized medicine, and it's probably my favorite one. Uh, Epic introduced Lookalikes and Best Care. Lookalikes is gonna be available in November 2022 already, and I know many folks just cannot wait to see it live. Lookalikes is gonna connect providers treating patients with a set of rare symptoms. Uh, to ensure the best care outcomes for patients. I think it's just tremendous. And also Epic keeps on adding more and more hospitals. To my knowledge, Epic is planning to add 30 more hospital systems in just 2022 and 2023. So the database is growing and having this feature, I'm sure is gonna be a lifesaver for so many patients. The second part of the Epic personalized medicine announcement was Best Care. And what Best Care does, it allows to compare treatments from millions of similar patients to optimize care plans, use real world data, uh, and to reduce spending by cutting off inefficient tests and treatments. Also, it significantly cuts the time between the diagnosis and the treatment begin date. There is no defined release date yet. It will obviously open a door for many opportunities in research as well. Overall, it seems like Epic is moving at a turbo speed. It keeps on adding new functionality, new features. It's expanding its network. As I said before, Epic is planning to add 30 new health systems in, only in 2022. Also, there are a few overseas clients 
uh, planning on joining EPIC. Uh, I saw a number of people from Finland, from Germany, and you know that Finland is already on EPIC and Germany is still not. So we will see how that's going to play out. Uh, but what keeps my hopes really high that by having such a diverse clientele, the overall expectations gonna grow. And we know that Epic is gonna do whatever their clients expect. UGM 2022 was just amazing. And I am so thankful to the organizers and sponsors. Everything was just great. I plan on going in 2023 and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like below subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions at all leave us a comment and we will definitely help you out.